I would say yes, right? Because it, if the consumer report is saying that uh, this report is any written, oral, or other communication, information by a uh, uh, um, credit consumer reporting agency, right, to try to see their credit worthiness, credit standing, credit capacity, character, general reputation, personal characteristic, or mode of living, mm -hmm. Right, and it's used to collect uh, the part. So it's saying that's what the consumer report mm -hmm. is. It's written, oral, other communication. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't mention anything about your FICO score or your Vantage score, which is a which is data collection. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So see the reason why th there's three hundred and forty three million people in America mm. the last time I checked yeah and for every nine every eight to nine people out of ten have incorrect or inaccurate information on mm. their credit yeah so you're taking about 70 to 90 percent of that 340 million mm. right that's the amount of people right now that's suffering with bad credit yeah or inaccurate items on their credit because they cannot make a distinction that your consumer report and your fico score or your vantage score are completely separate entities mm. so when we go back to the exclusion sections right mm -hmm. earlier you mentioned from your book you mentioned 35 30 15 10 10 yeah and we know that the biggest part of the fico score is the 35 percent which is the payment history yeah. and the 30 percent which is the utilization which makes up um 65 percent and that 65 percent translates to 357.5 points mm. 